everybody's doing well. I am coming back at y'all today with my New Year's resolution, but before we start, can we look at how I look like a middle-aged soccer mom um, whose only friend is John the pool boy? Anyways, so yeah, I wanted to come back at y'all today with a New Year's resolution um, and just kind of what I plan on doing as far as this year, what my goals are, and just what I want, just like my hopes and dreams for uh, this upcoming year. At the end of this video, I am going to put an outfit of the day of what I wore on New Year's Eve. So, I'm going to put a picture at the end. Keep a lookout for it if, if you want to keep on watching. But anyways, so... My New Year's resolution, I do have a few, but my main New Year's resolutions are two, actually, and they kind of coincide with one another. But one New Year's resolution is to really kind of take a look at how I value friendships, how I value other people, and how I, I guess I can improve on um, how I basically interact with these people in my, within my friendships. Um, there's two or three people at the top of my head that live in Waco that I really do need to go and hang out with. Heather, if you're, uh, you know, if you're watching this, hey girl, hey! Um, or Natalie, um, there, there's another uh, person named Natalie who I, you know, I really feel like I kind of need to spend more time with and get to know. And, of course, um, my second cousin who lives out in Waco, um, I kind of really want to get to know her a little bit better and just kind of hang out with her because, honestly, like, family, re family reunions were just, like, kind of a one-time thing. And they basically, like, they didn't really last that long, so I didn't always get to like hang out with my cousins but I think it would be cool to go and hang out with her and kind of see how she's doing um so yeah that's kind of like my first New Year's resolution resolution is just to um kind of hang out with my friends kind of you know get to uh get to talk to everybody and get to know everybody just a little bit more um I think that would kind of be beneficial to me and I think the other thing is really just kind of looking at how I view like my mental health for myself. And I feel like this year I've kind of just gone out of my way for um, people who that aren't my friends or that claim that they want to be my friends. Um, of course, this is not I'm not talking about Heather or Natalie. I'm talking about um, other people who. Well, they're guys, so <laughs> that definitely doesn't, uh, that definitely cancels up, cancels them out. But who have really just not really given a shit. Like, they just don't care. Like, they don't care about friendships. They don't care about um, valuing other people or valuing other, other lives. And it's just really a shitty thing to do. But, um... No, I think I really kind of need to look at my own mental health and putting in effort for people who don't put in effort for you is just, it's first of all, it's super one-sided, but it's also just not fair to you, like, as a person. If you're putting in effort and the other person just doesn't care and they're not putting in effort, then why should you? And I feel like there's... I think I'm going to have to really look at looking into days for my own mental health and having, you know, days where I'm going to have to just really be reclusive with, with other people um, and just kind of um, gathering my thoughts and my feelings about a certain subject or situation. And luckily, you know, luckily people that um, I consider users or people that didn't value my friendship are 
out of my life and I'm so thankful for that but um, it's not just that it's also making sure that you're like you yourself as a human being you're um, you know you're you're at a healthy mindset because trying to work out fake relationships just don't like friendships and relationships just don't it can really take a toll on you because you're the one trying to put an effort into some shit like I said and then the other person isn't and it's so t it's so t like it's so tolling like on a person and yeah I'm I mean I'm actually really good at like pointing shit out like that like pointing out fake ass people but sorry if I keep leaning this way it's because I'm kinda like trying to scratch my leg sorry but yeah it's really taken a toll on how I, I think I view friendships and how I view people as a whole the people that are there are gonna be the ones in your corner wanting you to succeed you know they're not gonna be the ones hating on bitches so to speak um, but yeah the people that are there in your corner are the ones that really want to root you on and see you succeed as a human being as a person and I don't know I don't I don't really want this to get like sentimental but I just feel like that's how it is like I feel like you kinda have to in order to be like healthy for yourself in order to have um, good Mm, let me see how am I going to say this. A good view on, on, on your own mental health is to recognize the people that are trying to hurt you and that are not there for your well-being and trying to get away from that situation. And I think that's super important. Um, but yeah, those are like basically my, my, my two like serious main goals. My third main goal, I mean it is still as serious, but I... I see myself finishing it obviously is graduating which I am so excited about yay um, and then my fourth resolution it's not so serious but just to stop drinking so damn much cuz damn I'm getting old and I can't be doing this shit anymore anyways I hope this vlog made sense. I hope y'all know what I'm talking about when I say mental health. Taking care of yourself. Um, you know, because I feel like sometimes you, ha you do have to be selfish. But, yeah, just taking care of yourself. Recognizing what a real friendship looks like. And, um, you know, what what's, he what's considered healthy and what's not considered healthy. Um... Like I said, I'm going to I'm going to actually put a picture after this of my outfit of the day. On New Year's Eve, I actually drank some champagne. Lord, I don't know why I do this to myself. It was good. It tasted like mead, if y'all ever had that, mead. Um but yeah, I uh watched the fireworks with one of my neighbors and we chatted and it was good, so yeah. I hope y'all had a good New Year's Eve. Hope y'all stayed safe. And um, tell me what y'all's New Year's Eve. Oh my gosh, I swear. People like want to text me all the damn time. <laughs> tell me what y'all's uh, New Year's Eve resolutions are if you don't have any or if they're just secretive, then you know it's fine as well. Um, but yeah. So if y'all. Um, if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Wait, that is the same as like. That is the same as... Okay, whatever. Anyways, bye!